Well, that was an exhausting trip, wasn't it, Naughty? We've arrived at some kind of resort, and that offensive bear, Cuddles, seems to be the one in charge of checking all the bears into the resort. He was the one who organized all of this vacation, and he's the first one who must pay. You should punish Cuddles any way that you want, Naughty.
Pudding is a master gardener and is using his vacation to do some biofluffetic research into creating new species of plants. It looks like the only reason he's doing this is to make a monstrous shark plant capable of devouring fluff. Surely not. That horrible bear pudding. I don't think Pudding understands how dangerous using biofluffetics to create plant species can be. I think you should take him to his own creation and show him what happens. Oh, look, Naughty. There's Goober, and he's holding a magnificent costume party here at Bearmeister Mansion. He's a nasty piece of work, if ever I saw one. I think he was the one who booked all the accommodation. And to think that he didn't book any for you, Naughty. What a mean bear he is. My, what a big mouth Goober has. He's always saying mean things about you. To punish him, you should get yourself a fancy dress costume, take him into the woods, and then choke him to shut him up for good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What a wonderful and beautiful park we found, Naughty. And it seems like the other bears have formed a secret society here called the Slab Chiselers. Their sole purpose is to find a way to keep you out of their lives, and Normal Bear is the chief recruiter for the Slab Chiselers. The Slab Chiselers have recruited someone almost as naughty as you. He's called Jacques Le Tickleur. He's a complete maniac, and if you want to punish Normal, then you're going to have to do it before he does. Every bear has a favorite weapon, Naughty, and I think I know what yours is. It's all pointy and sharp at the same time. See if you can punish normal with that. Ha <laughs> ha 
You know, Naughty, they say that a clue to a bear's character is in the name of a bear. And in the case of Trembles, this couldn't be more accurate. He's a wimpy, conniving, good-for-nothing bear. And it looks like he's doing some kind of deal to ensure that he gets the exclusive drilling rights for oil here on the island. It also looks like he's hired that horrible bear, Mahoney, to stop you messing up his deal. I think we'll see about that. Trembles just loves to fill up the island's cars with that wonderful pump of his. He's always got a cheerful smile and a wave as he sends them on their way full of his oil. Perhaps you should send him on his way with his own gas pump. A bear with a taste for science is a most dangerous bear, especially when his name is Fluffy. His constant meddling in quantum theory will eventually end with him wiping out all bear life, including yours. And oh look, here he is at his quantum disentanglement facility. <coughs> oh my naughty. Fluffy is tinkering with the building blocks of existence. It looks like he's created some form of quantum portal. With this, he could travel directly to your hut and find you at any time he wants. <laughs>
Sunbeam is so happy and joyful that he seems to have managed to make friends with the alien menace. Somehow he's convinced them that bears and aliens can live together in perfect harmony. Although it seems like he's made a deal to hand you over to them to seal the peace treaty. Those aliens have offered Sunbeam a wonderful laser sword as a peace offering to gain information about your whereabouts. I think you should take that offering and punish Sunbeam with it.
Ah, it's our old friend Chubby. He loves to laugh at you when you're down. I don't think you should ever forgive him for laughing at you when you went to Daddles' birthday party. Now, here he is at the Wellness Center, and it looks like he's booked in for some fluffo suction therapy. Hmm. Fluffy thinks a doctor doctor is going to perform his operation. Perhaps you should dress up as doctor doctor and activate the fluffo suction machine on Chubby. Ah, it's our old. Hmm, fluffy.
Nibbles has decided to hold an enormous fiesta for all the other bears in the resort. With his amazing cooking skills, he's decided to whip up a bounteous barbecue for everyone. Well, I guess your invite got lost in the post, right, Naughty? <coughs> Nibbles is using a magnificent...
Bubble. What a ridiculous name for a bear. It seems like he's responsible for organizing all the entertainment at the resort. He's organized a massive rave at the beach. Well, bubbles are like dreams, and you know what we like to do to bear's dreams, don't we, Naughty? We like to pop them. Watch out, though. He's got DJ Fuzz's disco defense force to make sure you don't get in. DJ Fuzz does make such sweet, sweet sounds from his massive mixing machine. I think if you position Bubble just right, you can turn that mega bass super subwoofer into a weapon.
Cozy, that good-for-nothing bear, has provided the Colonel and the General with the exact location of your hut on Perfection Island. It seems that the army has constructed a super cannon to blast your home to bits. With these precise coordinates, they will be able to smash it to smithereens. If you shut Cozy up, they won't be able to target your home anymore. Perhaps we could sneak up on Cozy if we disguised ourselves as a general.
<laughs> they say that Greasy is the best mechanic at the resort. He's always doing wonderful favors for the other bears, repairing their broken stuff. He's just so nice. I tell you what, though, he just loves repairing cars so much, I bet he's got some awesome equipment in that garage. Maybe he should see it up close. <coughs> My, look at that magnificent car he's repairing. It seems to be on some sort of hydraulic lift. I tell you what, it would be painful if you got stuck under that. Why don't you take Greasy and find out, Naughty? My... Oh, no. Flopsy, the senior biologist here at the resort, has adapted the shark plant to create another type of plant bear completely. He's called the Gruhel. Watch out. This deadly plant bear will come and hunt you down. I think that Flopsy should discover what it's like to be hunted. Flopsy's demonic creation, Gruel, is a miserable thing. I think you should make sure that Flopsy is punished at the hands of his own creation.
Welcome to Silky's wonderful mansion. Silky wants to be a movie star so badly. What a shame he has no talent. Look at that fake uni bear horn he wears on his head. He's so vain. We do hate bears that pretend, don't we? I think you should break up this party once and for all. You know what would be nice, Naughty, is if you made a spectacle of him on that ridiculous statue of his. I think you... Ha <laughs> 